Hi guys, Football Manager YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. Just a quick up to update today. This morning on the website I posted um, a new feature that we were going to be looking at was looking at youth players that I was uh, looking to develop. Um, as you know at the moment I'm doing a Barnsley file. Uh, we've got no money at, at the moment so the only way we're really going to be able to make any money and progress Barnsley as a football club is going to be buying young players looking to develop them as much as possible and trying to sell them on as a profit. To be honest, uh, whatever level of football club you're, you're at, I think it's always a good good idea to sort of do this, whether you're you know, right down the lower leagues and you have to rely on youth players, or obviously if you're a bigger bigger club, you, you, you will obviously have more money to try and you know, get good young players in, train them up and try and make them into first team regulars. Um, big or small, I, I do believe it's a very important thing to do um, at any size of football club. Um, so for this Barnsley uh, playthrough, um, you, a lot of the guys, if you've been following it so far, you would have known that I've, I bought this guy Javier uh, Nobelas from, from Real Madrid. We'll just have a quick look at his history. So you can see that he started off with Real Madrid and he's been with them uh, for all of his career right up until, well he had a few seasons at Real Madrid to see where you can see here he did actually manage to get some game time. They, he was, he's a player that was never going to get anywhere near, near the Real Madrid first team which is probably a case for a lot of players who, who do actually play for Real Madrid especially in their sort of youth teams. I was looking for a left back at the time um, when we first started the, this file and this guy came up, he, he had quite good attributes actually and yeah we managed to get him for 115k which is which is very cheap it fitted in with our budget he's the type of player that I I wanted to get in actually uh, firstly I liked his age he was only 20 the position that he can play as well um, if I look at his um, information he's a natural left back and he can play as a complete wing back obviously when you're looking for complete wing backs um, you can obviously use the highlight attribute tool and if we put it on attack so we can see here um, all of his stats apart from flair and acceleration well acceleration pretty much all of them are, are quite high anyway especially for his age they're sort of 12 and above um, obviously apart from his flair which I mean flares is not it's quite an important uh, attribute I would say but the, the key ones I'm looking for, especially this level with Barnsley, I'm just looking for him to have a bit of pace, which he's got, a bit of stamina, uh, good crossing ability, um, good tackling as well, just to kind of bomb up and down the wing, and um, get them crosses in for our strikers and, you know, just just get forward as much as possible, basically. You'll see at the moment, um, this guy's got a determination of 10, and he's also got a balanced personality. This isn't an ideal personality for training up youth players so what I'm gonna try and do is get this guy a tutor somebody preferably with a, a professional um, personality um, someone who's spirited along that nature basically so we need this is going to be my always my first step in trying to, to develop a young player is to always try and get them a very good personality now personally I don't think determination is that much of a key attribute. I do like to have players with key attribute and obviously it's, it's a lot of the time linked together so if you've got someone with higher determination um, a lot of the time they will have a better personality although that's not always the case but a player's personality will have a massive effect on how well they grow as a player. So that's something that I, I will look to be, um, you know, getting him trained on basically once once he is back from his injury with regards to training I've currently got him on a complete wing back position and just on average intensity with his age at the moment I I don't want to push him too much and I want him 100% focused on on the focus which is to train as a complete wing back you'll see at the moment he hasn't got any uh, so he's got the preferred action uh, preferred moves that gets forward whenever possible which is which is very good for us it's 
something that, I, as I mentioned earlier, I do want him bombing up and down that wing. So I'm glad he has got that as a preferred mood, move already, which is great for us. I will eventually, once he's had maybe six months to a year on a complete wing back training, I'm going to really have a look at his stats and just see where I, I would like him to improve. So things like marking, um, maybe I'd like to push that up to 14. Obviously crossing, I'd like to push up to 14 if we can. Um, maybe positioning, move up to 14 as well. There's a lot of things, I mean a lot of things with training and obviously match match game time where this guy is going to be able to improve a lot. You see at the moment he's uh, considered by my assistant manager um, as uh, a leading player for a League One side. We're obviously in the championship at the moment being Barnsley so you know he's he he can still even improve in this league at the moment with game time and, and a lot of training. He's going to really come on leaps and bounds for us and you know really really improve as a player. He does have the potential to be a good premiership player so that's obviously where where we want to get him to. The the key ways of getting him to to that level will obviously be game time. I've played him as much as I can this season since I've signed him. We need to really do get his personality sorted out um, from balance to a professional one if possible. We need to keep an eye on his training. Um, so obviously at the moment we've got it yeah on the on the focused um so yeah they're they're the three things i'm going to be looking to you know help this guy with just to help him develop as much as possible one thing that's quite exciting as well this guy obviously we got him for 115k and now he's worth 500k um obviously he when i first signed him i got him on a two-year deal i didn't want to offer him too much of a long long deal at this stage especially if we don't know if we're going to be you know getting relegated it was a little bit a little bit touchy with Barnsley at the beginning when the, when I first took over the club, so it's good to <clears throat> to just see how things are going. Um, obviously, if he does well at the end of this season, um, if he's attracting any interest, then I may sell him on for a really good profit. Um, if not, then I'll probably look to extend his contracts um, for another year, just so that his value will, will remain high, and it gives us that um, backbone, basically, if anybody else does come in and wants to buy him if he's on a longer contract then we're going to be able to get more money for him so if you look on the website i'm going to be keeping this um updated on this player's progression it's quite early days with him um but i believe he he does have the potential to become a good player so as we are going through i'm going to be keeping you guys up to date with his training schedules things that i'm going to be looking to improve with him um and so on so yeah if you can keep uh checking out the website guys which as i said at the beginning is football manager youth development.co.uk we're also on twitter as well and our account is um at fm youth dev so it's fm youth dev at the end that's our Twitter hashtag, so if you wanted to follow us on there, guys, I'll uh, also be posting updates on that Twitter tag as well. So thanks for listening today, guys, and um, yeah, we'll be back soon with another video. Thank you.